Wouldn't he want Shaq Fu? <laughs> it's Shaq Fu too. Hey, we fit trainer. Why don't you go just like die? You know, it's actually a possible to kill those creatures uh, without even uh, using Wolf Link's uh, jumping attack target. No, but I'm serious, Brian, play Shaq Fu. Why do you want me to play Shaq Fu? I don't own the game. You don't own Shaq Fu? It's a masterpiece. I have a cartridge copy of Shaq Fu. Do you really? Yeah. Why? Because it's Shaq Fu, man. It's like... Because they were selling it for a dollar fifty at vintage stock, and I thought it would be an interesting thing to have. Well, I guess I've kind of done that, but with more expensive things. I did that with Super Metroid. They had it at South by Southwest and I got it the other last time I was there. What's South by Southwest? It's an event in uh, Austin. Uh, it's not a one-time event. It's actually a bunch of events. Usually it's a music event. Is that they... the one where you went and played Mario Kart? Yeah, or I with played real... Mario Kart. Uh, that's where but with I also... real Mario Karts? Yeah, I think that's where I saw Will Specter once. Uh, usually a lot of game developers are there too. That's where I met some of the developers of Rare and when they were working... And former developers of Rare, actually, where they were working on Tengami, that Japanese paper folding game. Right, that the one. By the where way, that game they sucks. Bet. Yeah. That's what Wait, I thought Rare only makes Kinect Sports. These are former no, Rare devs. Games. Oh. Like the ones who made. Oh uh, no, that's run company. Uh, there were a lot of people there. Uh... So, how long do you think it'll be before Microsoft buys Retro? <laughs> it won't matter if they buy Retro, because they don't have any original IPs. They will soon. Plus, wasn't. Uh. Uh. Frickin'. What was it? Rare, not fully owned by Nintendo. Uh, it was like, Rare owned 51%, Nintendo owned 49%. Yeah, it was something like that. Uh, with, uh, I know with Game Freak, they own a majority. Don't they own like 80% of Game Freak? No. Fuck no. you. We Fit Trainer, die. I How? Oh, still alive. We the entire uh, Game Freak arrangement is weird, because like from what I understand, Nintendo doesn't actually own any part of Game Freak. They own the Pokemon Company, yeah, which owns Game Freak. I just said that's my like brother's other. Yeah, so I stopped playing. And like the Pokemon Company owns the Pokemon IP, and that's the reason why companies other than it's weird. Taste of Honey is still here. How many people are there in the stream? S four now. Four? Oh, that's not too bad. I'll except, say four. Except they're all like us. They're... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, people. God, the hands and Taste of Honey and Oh God, What Have You Done are the only people left. Oh, Why are we even streaming Twilight Princess? We should just start a podcast. Will, you wanted to st me to stream Twilight Princess with Rory here. That's it. And I gave up my, my valuable night to stream Twilight Princess. Like my second la my second least favorite Zelda game. What's your least favorite? Ocarina of Time. For cereal? I'm actually being serious. Why? I don't like it. Too many graphics. Not enough. Too many polygons. <laughs> No multiplayer. I like I can't do Sky. The voice. I, okay, I like. Here's my like bottom like four or five. So Ocarina of Time because it's just boring. This one because it sucks. You got like 
friggin' I don't know. You got oh, like oh. never mind. Yeah. You got like Majora's Mask. That's a terrible game. I'm actually kidding. You can't tell. Oh, I guess I should put this pitchfork down. Okay, good. Alright, anyway. Um I don't like uh what else don't I like? Here we go. Here's a thing. I do not like Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, Oracle of Ages. I like Ages. I don't like Seasons. For most people, it's the other way around. I think it's... Is it Ages or... I don't know which one I don't like. Seasons is the one that involves Seasons and Onyx. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of like which one I played when I was little. Who was the main villain? That's what I'm trying to, like, I know I had, I had ages, my brother had seasons, and I played both of them. But I'm not sure, like, which one was the one I didn't like. I don't think I like seasons. Seasons was with Onyx, he's the guy with, like, the big, like, flail, right? Yeah. Is it yeah. a flail? Is it like a, it's like a giant, like, ball and chain. Yeah, yeah. that's Onyx. Yeah, I didn't like that one. Have you tried Ages? I have tried Ages. Yeah, I like Ages. Ages is a lot better than Seasons. Ages is the one where, like... Varen and... Yeah, with the witch. Yeah, and... Nehru gets the... Nehru, my like, girl Nehru. most people, it's the other way, other way around. Seasons is weird, because it's just Zelda 1. Yeah. It is. It was a failed attempt to remake Zelda 1. A failed attempt is a weird way to play, put it. Um, it was a I'm not a huge attempt. fan of Adventure of yeah. Link. Not a lot of people like Adventure of Link. It's a I, like, solid game in its own. Like game. I don't, I don't mind it, but it's not like my game, you know. Better than Link's Awakening. <sighs> you take that. Ba Link's Awakening is actually a really good game. I've never played Link's Awakening. My least, my five least favorite Zelda games. Our Ocarina of Time Adventure of Link Leaks of Awakening, uh, Phantom Hourglass. And, you get uh, out of your sun. What? Phantom, Phantom Hourglass, Hourglass is a perfection. Freaking uh, awesome like, game. I don't even know what my fifth one is. Like I didn't, I didn't hate Phantom Hourglass. Um, I just, just couldn't vastly... back off to it. Spirit Tracks is the one that you should hate. No, I like Spirit Tracks. Spirit I Tracks. love trains, but they made me hate trains in that game. I liked Spirit Tracks a lot more than Phantom Hourglass, actually. Yeah, that's I liked Phantom Hourglass. Cool I don't know. I played like Phantom Hourglass like five times, so. I only played Phantom Hourglass twice. I really enjoy both games, but I enjoy Spirit Tracks more. I, I like both of them, so. I beat Spirit Tracks. I think the reason I like Spirit Tracks more so much is like. That was one of the last games that when I first played, it was like a magical experience, I guess. Because I was like 9, 10, when it so came it was out. like ecstasy. I and uh, a link between right now, by now, magical. I'm just like too jaded on games. Like, I, I don't... Games aren't fun anymore. It's just like, oh yeah, that was a thing I played. And it, it, it happened. I felt like that for a while. Yeah. Usually I go into those habits. Last time, uh, the last game I played to get me out of one of those fits was uh, Shadows of the Dam. Uh, it's a Suda 51 game. It's really good. You should definitely yeah. try it out. Isn't that the one where it's like his girlfriend gets murdered or something? Yeah, and he has the talking gun. Yeah. By the way, the the way they go into the title screen for that game is fucking amazing. Not the title screen per se, but the menu select. It's it's epic. I love that so goddamn much. Oh. Hey dog. Are you talking to like an actual dog? No, I'm actually talking to you guys. What? I decided what my fifth least favorite game is. The oh. Wind Waker HD. What? But, but not the Wind Waker. Why? I don't know. 
<laughs> I thought that would elicit a better response if I just like said it. And it didn't. <laughs> Actually, Four Swords Anniversary Edition was a big letdown. Four Swords okay. in general is just... Don't you dare game. go anywhere near that subject. I like Four Swords. Four Swords was brilliant. <laughs> Four I Swords is great like... with friends. Yeah, because that's what the kind of game was. It's it like was Call of Duty. Player. Call of Duty's not fun without friends, man. I mean, or they... arms. Then again, almost any game can really be said is not fun without friends. Like Destiny. Wait, wait, Roy, did you say the game wasn't fun without arms? No. Oh. I... I misheard you. I think you're hearing things. <laughs> you said something after without friends. <laughs> You said something after without friends, friends, and now I feel that I'm insane. I no, I did, I did say without arms. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you guys both just kept going, so I was like, yes. <laughs> this guy's not even gonna attack me. Move, Link. Do something. Um, no, attack, no, wait, Link. Wait, no. For real, I haven't played Link's Awakening. Uh. I haven't played Link's Awakening. Uh, and all of Skyward Sword. Those are like the only two Zelda games that I haven't played to, to like the end. Skyward A Sword taste of money. Is, eh. My five favorite games of all time in no particular order are the world are the world ends with you, Super Mario Galaxy 2, Kid Curious Uprising, Fallout 3, and Just Cause 2. So like why do you think uh, the hero shade is so tall compared to Link? Because it's a spirit, or like, do you think Majora's it's... Mask Link actually he got that? He drank his calcium. <laughs> well, I mean, it is heavily suggested that TP Link is a descent between him and Malon. It it isn't it is implied. It's like it's I don't know. Because we know he's a direct descendant of the hero Shade, and oh. we know he lives on a farm. Yes, and the and... only real other person who lived on a farm was Malon Talon. Luigi! Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, forgot the brother. Well, it turns out that it was actually like an alternative relationship between Talon and Link, and they adopted or something. A direct descendant of Link comes out looking like Link. Nope. Adopted. <laughs> uh, wait. Were we talking about favorite games? Yeah. Alright. My favorite games of all time. Let's go. Number five. Fuck you. Hot spot. Cool spot. That's oh god, no. Rory, you <laughs> stop right now. Cool spot at number five. <laughs> number four. Big Rig. Number three, Bad Rats. I was gonna say Bad Rats. Number three, <laughs> Bad Rats. Number four goes out to... No, altered, but number four altered, was already Big Rigs. Altered Beasts, but <laughs> not Altered Beast. Altered Beasts. Don't look it up, it's real. So wait, number five was cool something cool, cool, spot. Spot. cool spot number four was both big rigs and altered beasts and number three was bad rats yeah what's the number two number two gotta be grand theft auto one definitely grand theft auto one and my favorite game of all time is et <laughs> my favorite game of all time is definitely sonic boom Oh, top ten, top ten favorite Sonic game, top top five favorite Sonic games, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom, Rise of Lyric, Sonic Boom, Shadow Crystal at four and five. They take up one spot each. Sonic, Sonic 06 at number three. Although it's a brilliant game, I can't put it at the number one. <laughs> oh, Sonic Lost World. And, uh, well, Lost World was Sonic good. Chronicles, uh, Sonic Lost World wasn't good, Brian. I really enjoyed Lost World. Oh. 
But yeah, seriously. Are you a Sonic fan? Me? Yeah. Had yeah, we already explained here. this. Sure. I've been a Sonic fan since I was a little kid. Was he here? Like, uh... I don't know. Yeah, we explained about mid the camera shots. Yeah. They call like, me Sonic! Sonic the Hedgehog! Hey, Brian. What? Did you find me voiceover work? Of Sonic? Oh, you mean like legit voiceover work? Uh, okay, Brian. Is it just me, or is Brian slowly degrading in ooh, audio? Sonic, Sonic, uh, top, top Sonic game of all time. You ready for this? Sonic Chronicles the Dark Brotherhood. Um, Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> No, you're you're all missing the mark. Uh, Sonic Riders Zero Sonic Gravity. Sonic 3D Blast. You're getting closer. Sonic Free Riders. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, uh. Sonic no, Shuffle. Nothing cha chaotic or whatever it's called. Sonic Shuffle. You mean okay, the Knuckles game I just stated game. earlier? What's that? The game I stated earlier. Did you actually? Yeah, like, you were like, number three is Sonic 2006, and the, while you were saying it, I was like, Sonic Shuffle? Oh, Sonic Shuffle is my number one, actually. <laughs> Sonic Fishing? What the hell? <laughs> God, is that a thing? <laughs> Apparently. It's a Japan only. Japan exclusive. Aw, oh, man, Japan gets everything. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic just, battle. Just Mario like, and so, Sonic. Uh, can't forget Mario and Sonic at the top, Olympics. Top three Mega Man games. Mine are uh, Mega Man Legends 3, Mega Man Universe, and Mega Man Online. <laughs> I got to My top three are beta test these games. They Mega, are too good for the public. Capcom Mega, Mega Man 3. No, Mega Man 6 at the number 3. Mega Man 2 at the number 2. And Mega Man X at the number one. Why not Mega Man X2 at number one? Oh god. She... What time zone must she be in? To yeah, be holy. At school. She's gotta be in Europe or Australia. No, Europe is. This stream is buffering for me like every two seconds. Europe wouldn't be at this time. They wouldn't be in school. I forget, what does it take to make it so like your the Twitch stream has multiple quality options? I don't know, you probably... Uh... I think yeah, someone to told me Twitch that usually what it is is you have a uh, upload rate that's too high for someone with a slow speed. Look, I got that weird lady from that. What's the painting called? The Mona Lisa. I want to say Salvador Dali painting. Uh, what are you talking about? That the Olcas are based off of. The uh, I believe it's. I believe it's Dali. It is. I believe so. Let me check. But first, like, did anybody here? See, uh, Grand Budapest Hotel. It's, uh, no, I didn't. It is definitely Dolly. Brian, did you see it? The Grand Budapest Hotel? Yeah. What was it about? Uh, I doubt I did. Okay, if you didn't. It's one of those movies where you distinctly remember if you saw it. What was one it? of the most memorable. Movies of the year. Polish the plumber. What was it about, though? Um, it's kind of hard to describe. A uh, guy steals a painting called "Boy with Apple." No, it's it's, it's M. M. C. Escher, by the way. It's an old ornate hotel that's like been going out of fashion. So, the vast majority of the film takes place in like flashbacks throughout the ages back when the hotel was in its prime. Um, there's lots of like, silly practical effects. Um, great acting. I haven't seen it. Oh, I've man. heard of it, but never oh. seen it. 
Oh, oh shit.